Welcome to the Season of Self Love Podcast. I am your host, Naomi Banks, and I am thrilled to have you join me on this transformative journey. You see, every day we dive into a powerful conversation about self discovery, healing, and empowerment. This podcast is brought to you by Ask Naomi and Elevate Me Self Discovery, where we believe that loving yourself is the first step to living a fulfilling life. You can expect insightful discussions, practical tips, and inspiring stories. Plus, we occasionally welcome special guests who will share their unique perspectives on self-love and personal growth. So get comfy, grab your favorite beverage, and let's embark on this journey together. Because it's time to embrace the beautiful person that you are. So let's elevate our lives one episode at a time. Now let's get started. Hello, my beautiful souls, and welcome to another episode of the Season of Self Love Podcast. I'm your host, Naomi Banks, and I am so excited that you are here with me today. Well, in this episode, it's going to be a little different. We're wrapping up all of this week's powerful conversations because it's been just such an amazing week of deep insights and beautiful stories of resilience and healing. So before we get into this topic for in a moment, Let's take a quick break, and then we come back, and then we're going to get into it, all right? It's your girl, the goddess, Nami Banks, here on the Season of Self Love Podcast, and we'll be right back. Hey, it's your girl, the goddess, Nami Banks, and make sure you tune in every Thursday night to Ask Naomi and Bridget the Gap Podcast, where we talk about everything from love, sex, relationship, cultural differences, and so much more. We're bridging the gap between them all, and we even talk about spiritual uplifting. You need to stop by me and Dr. Mike Mike, as well as the BTG crew. You have some amazing guests that come through. You never know. Just make sure you tune in Thursday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Go to AskNaomi.com and tell them Naomi sent you. Hey, my beautiful souls. This is your girl, the goddess, Naomi Banks, and I am excited to share something special with you. Introducing my latest ebook workbook, Killing Beyond the Betrayal. A journey of growth, empowerment, and renewal. In these 55 pages, I offer you insights, heartfelt stories, and practical worksheets designed to guide you on your healing path. So if you experience betrayal or you are seeking personal growth, this resource is made just for you. You see, it's time to reclaim your power and embrace renewal. So you can get your copy by visiting the Season of Self Love Podcast.com. And as a thank you for being part of our community, use the code HEALED09 at checkout to enjoy a 15% discount. So let's embark on this journey together because you deserve to heal, grow, and thrive. All right, well, welcome back. It's your girl, the goddess, Nami Banks, here on the Season of Self Love podcast. And today, like I said before, there is going to be a different type of show where we are taking this week's powerful conversations and rewrapping it all up. And we're going to speak about it and talk about it today, all right? About the beautiful stories of resilience and healing. But before we get into that, let's take a moment to center ourselves with a quick guided meditation. So I want you to find a comfortable position, either you are sitting or lying down. And I want you to gently close your eyes. I want you to take a deep breath in through your nose, filling your lungs with fresh air. And I want you to hold it for a moment. Now I want you to slowly exhale. And while you're doing that, I want you to release any tension that you are carrying. Now, as you continue to breathe deeply, I want you to visualize a gentle wave washing over you, carrying away your stress, your fears, and your doubts. With each exhale, I want you to let go of what no longer serves you. Now, as you inhale again, I want you to remind yourself that you are strong that you are capable and you are worthy of love. Now take one more deep breath in and exhale. Yes. Now gently open your eyes when you're ready. When you are ready and you're feeling refreshed and grounded and present. All right, beautiful. 
All right, let's dive in. All right, so let's get into it. So this week started off with an incredible moving conversation with Caroline Sophia Scorin. And she's the author of Unbreakable, who shared her journey through mental illness and finding hope after a traumatic car accident. And Caroline and I, we talked about being bullied. She talked about being bullied as a child and how those early experiences with anxiety and depression shaped her into the advocate she is today. One of the standout moments from that episode was Caroline's realization that surviving her car accident was a second chance in life. I remember her saying, God gave me another chance and I wasn't going to waste it. That resonated with me deeply. I mean, she used this life-threatening experience to redefine her narrative and her message to use was powerful. You see, words matter. Kindness matter, because you never know what someone is going through. So my question is, what did you think of this episode? I loved how she emphasized that even through the hardest of times, that we can find strength, and we all have the capacity to be unbreakable. And when I, when I say that resonate with me so much is that I had a, uh, a, my cousin, about a year ago, about a year and a half ago, maybe two, maybe two, she was in a car with a group of her friends. And they were coming from, I think, a, a, a football game or something like that. And they were all in the car having a good time. She wasn't a driver. She was on the passenger side. And they got into a car accident where two of the people died in the car. And she and the driver were the only two that were alive. Yes. And I remember her telling the story to her mom and her mom telling the story to me about how she saw my grandmother, like she was protecting her. When I say when God gives you another chance and that he saved you for a reason, he did. And that's why when she spoke that, that powerful word, that, that, that one little saying right there, it moved me so because I understood it. It's so many people in my family that have been saved because they have an assignment. And I'm glad that she understood her assignment. So if there is anyone that is listening to this podcast right now, and I know we're talking about in this, this month, we're talking about in this series, we're talking about healing beyond betrayal. If you yourself was able to get beyond that betrayal, know that part of your purpose is to heal from it. But not only that, you have an assignment in life, and that's to serve someone else. That's to serve someone else. That means whatever story that you have been through, you came out on the, on the opposite end, good and well, it is your responsibility to make sure that you are healed. It's your responsibility to take someone else's hand and help them because you were saved for a reason. You were saved for a reason. So I can go back and I can talk about what we talked about last season here on the season of Self Love. As I say, I now always use my triumphs and my, and my obstacles and all of those things. I use those as tools and teaching moments for others as well as myself. That's what you do, the same thing with the betrayal. That's what I'm doing. And that's what you should do. So I hope that you understood what I took from that, 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 um, that episode with um, Caroline. All right, so the next episode, oh my God, the conversation with Jesse Torres. This conversation, when I say... Oh, it was so many aha moments in this episode. So if you don't remember, um, I had the wonderful Jessie Torres. She's a transformational life coach who shared her incredible story of healing from multiple betrayals, including her family and her marriage. Um, so let me say this, because we did not share exactly what part of the betrayal was. She was um, sexually assaulted by family members, 
Um, she was mentally, physically, um, emotionally, physically abused by her husband. Um, and it, the and when you read her story, when you sit, the, the story is so amazing. It was one part of that that just, just stuck home with me. I um, mean, what I mean is that it just pulled on my strings because the questions that I was asking her, you know, I really wanted to know. I really wanted to know of you going through that much. How can you be in the same room? And, it, and this is just an honest question. How can you be in the same room when someone that you betray? How, will you, how do you feel when you go into that room? What one word that you can say about yourself standing in that room amongst people of betrayal? And I remember her saying, love. I remember her saying, love. You see, Jesse's vulnerability brought so much light to our conversation. Her wisdom about how her betrayal can create a hypervigilance and can cause her to shut down emotionally. Man, it was so eye-opening. But what stuck with me the most, again, was her pain and dedication to transforming her pain into a purpose filled with life. When she mentioned about something profound, that you have to believe that life is worth living, even after betrayal. You see, Jesse Courage was not only to heal, but also to help others through their healing process. And it was very inspiring. And I hope that you, the listeners, that you were inspired by that as well. As I just spoke about Caroline, as I said with hers, I said, look, God saved her for a reason. Got you through that for a reason. As he's getting you through certain things as a reason, whether it be for just to listen to this podcast today, just to get the message, whatever you're supposed to receive right here today. But also, I believe in a lot of people might think I'm wrong. I think it's our responsibility to serve one another. I really do. You know, she gave some some beautiful practical tips for healing, like finding your self-worth and building a strong support system. All those things that we can take with us. And then my next one was Kathleen Duvart. Duvart, and I hope I'm saying her name right. She was the author of The Box. And Kathleen's journey through depression began when she was just 12 years old after experiencing a very traumatic event. And she shared how writing became her outlet of healing. Her novel, The Box, it touches on family trauma and the complexities of depression. It was such a raw and personal work of her honesty about battling inner demons through writing was both heartbreaking and empowering. You see, Kathalina, she reminded us that it's okay not to be okay. And the healing doesn't mean forgetting what happened. It means finding ways to move forward. And she said something that stuck with me. She said, there is no getting over it. There's just learning to live through it. That is such a powerful reminder of for anyone dealing with deep emotional pain. You see, we had such a powerful conversation this week with Caroline's story of resilience, Jesse's journey of turning betrayal into power, and Kathleen's path of finding healing through writing. And there's one thing that we can take away from all of these stories is the importance of sharing our journeys. You see, each guest showed us that healing isn't a linear, that it's okay to take your time, whether it's through therapy, writing, or self-compassion. I love to hear how these conversations has resonated with you. What did you connect with most this week? And how have you been reflecting on your own self-love and healing journey? I know for me, these past few weeks since we started this new series has been so confirming. It's been so on spot with every conversation that I've had. I've been able to take gems and notes and different ads for me. So I know if that's happened for me, I know that it is happening for you all. I know that it is happening for you all. But I wanted to just share, just go back so we can talk a little bit about 
because those were some strong. And when I say this, I told y'all I got y'all this month. I got y'all on this series. Because coming next week, we have some more amazing guests that are coming, sharing their stories with you and I. Really, so, so amazing. All right, my beautiful people. So as we wrap up this, I just want to thank you for joining me this week's Reflection. And I hope these stories have inspired you, whether you're just beginning your healing journey or just further along in your path. But I want you to remember that no matter where you are, you are not alone. And if you haven't listened to all of the episodes yet, go back and catch up. I'm telling you, these have been some amazing stories. And don't forget to check out the books Unbreakable by Caroline Sophia Scorin and The Box by Catalina Duvar. Both are incredible resources for anyone looking to find hope and healing. And again, thank you so much for being here today with me, you beautiful souls. But until next time, I want you to remember to love yourself and embrace your journey, all right? It's your girl Naomi Banks here. Signing off for the weekend here on the Season of Self Love Podcast. Be sure to follow us on our social media. And if you love this episode, don't forget to rate us and subscribe. Yes, go over to Apple's, iTunes, Spotify, wherever you are listening to us at. Leave a review. Leave a review. Again, thank you. Have the most amazing weekend. Have a good one. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovering and empowerment here at the Season of Self-Love Podcast. Remember, embracing self-love is a continuous journey, and we're so glad to have you with us. So if you enjoyed today's episode, please leave us a review. And don't forget to join our community on Facebook at Season of Self-Love. Connect with like-minded individuals who are also on their self-love journey. Now, if you have any questions or topics that you would like for us to explore, we love to hear from you. Email us at seasonofselflove at gmail.com and let your voice be heard. So until next time, take a moment for yourself today and remember, you are worthy of love, joy, and all the beautiful things that life has to offer. Bye.